So today, as you read from the title, I want to make this video about super, this has been a topic I want to talk about for a while, and pretty much get the perspective of why I think we, if we do see another Smash of the game, it will not be as good as Ultimate, or why, or why Smash is pretty much, it, it's going to go... I won't say downhill, but not be as good as what we have it as now. So without further ado, let's get into the topic of the video. So like I said, I want to talk about how Smash Ultimate was a one-time done deal. Pretty much, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up an article. Um... Pretty much in this article, Sakurai was talking about the future of Smash Brothers. And when he talked about the future of Smash Brothers, he pretty much said that he didn't think Smash, if they could do another one, they could do it without him. Or, if they did another one, it will be as successful as Ultimate. Or, and he think it might disappoint the fans. This has been something I've had to discuss with my brothers, especially my brother the Art Mari. Big shout out to him, good animator. You should check him out. But um, I had to chat with him multiple times. I'm like, I. We've had this discussion. Me and my brother the Art Mari has had this discussion multiple times. Me telling him like, dude, I don't think they going to make more DL. Get saying, oh, I think they'll make more DLC down the line. For Smash Ultimate. No, it's done. The DLC is done. Sakurai pretty much said in this thing, the DLC is done. We're not going to see Nintendo or any of them are not thinking any more stuff for Smash or even if they're going to make another Smash as of right now. So, yeah, it's done. Smash Ultimate is done. This is the full character roster. Sora was the final character ever for Ultimate. So, the thing about it is that, yeah, the thing about it is, like, I don't think we will ever see another Smash game as successful as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I mean, here's the thing, Ultimate, is, Ultimate had a bunch of stuff, especially licensing for characters, like, 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 I'm pretty sure you heard it from a bunch of the YouTubers, and you'll hear it from me. Is that is that some of the characters they almost didn't make it like Snake and some of the Enix characters they almost didn't make it in the Smash. I mean, Sakurai had because Sakurai has clout behind this name. That was the only reason they were able to get those characters into Smash. I mean, I mean, God, I look at characters like Sephiroth and Cloud, especially Sora. Like, those are characters that would never happen without Sakurai. Without Sakurai having that clout behind his name, they would have never happened in Smash Bros. And Sakurai pretty much said that he doesn't think a Smash game could be produced without him. And I, I know, I doubt Sakurai would, is even thinking, I know Nintendo aren't even thinking about the next Smash game right now. Right, right, right now. Right now, and I doubt Sakura is even thinking about that. But it's like, man, to know that, man, this this ma this smash was a one done deal. And why? I'm sorry to say it. If we do get another Smash game on the next Nintendo hardware, which I'm not saying we won't, but if we, I'm not saying we won't, but if we do, uh, it will not be as it will not be as great as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, it's literally going to be a smaller, I won't say way smaller, but not nearly as big character roster. We're going to see a lot, and especially third party characters, cut from this next Super Smash Bros. game. We probably won't see Snake again. I doubt we'll see Snake again. I mean, if we do, it will be a miracle. Well, I doubt we'll see. Uh, I doubt we'll see Hero or uh, or Cloud, and I highly doubt we'll see Sora. I highly doubt we'll see Sora. 
I highly doubt we'll see Sora. I mean, Sora is a one-time character for Smash, and that's with Smash Ultimate. I doubt we'll see Sora again. It'll be, it'll be by a miracle if the next Smash Bros. game has Sora in it. So, it's like, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's like, yeah, it, it's highly unlikely we'll see a lot of these characters come back for Smash, especially third parties. So, it's like, yeah, it, it's hard when you had this big game, like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, with all, with all these big video game characters in it, come together for a big fighting game, like Smash, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and do for the and do for the video game industry I mean, a celebration of all things gaming and do it in such a great way to where it could only be done by Sakurai and Sakurai pretty much said it in their interview like if they were to do another Smash game he would have to think he would have to think will it be successful or whatever but yeah he also said I don't think it could be done without me like it can't be done without Sakurai in some point of in some point of uh, of capacity and even Sakurai said they tried to do it without him they tried to do one of the previous Smash games without him and it just did not go well which I'm guessing he's talking about uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and for 3DS Cause I, I think I remember hearing how they tried to do that one without Sakurai and that's the reason it was mainly trying to be handled by Bandai Namco and when they tried to do it without Sakura, they couldn't do it without him. They couldn't do it without him. It was like, man, they needed Sakura. They needed Sakura. So it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, so it's like, yeah. The fact that they needed Sakura shows that this game cannot be done without Sakura. This game series cannot be done without Sakura. And the fact that I don't think any other developer. We're going to fucking smash ultimate up. Well, with been doing it themselves and get that negativity towards them. Because you got to... I mean, there's a lot of people in the Smash community that are just... They're, they're so negative when their characters don't get in the Smash. And they're so negative when characters are cut. Like, like they're just so negative. Like, the Smash community... It, it, it's a great community, but it's also some of the most, some of the most negative, um, bitchy, complaining, most neck bearded, neck bearded people out there that honestly are like, well, my character didn't get smashed, so I fucking, I fucking hate Sakurai, or, or my character got cut from Smash, so fuck you, Nintendo, and it's like, who would want to follow it up with a cut character roster? Can you imagine how people would feel with the next Smash game when characters like Sora or Sephiroth or or say Snake got cut? They'd be like, "Fuck you, Nintendo! I fucking hate you! How dare you cut my character? I I loved him so much. I I'm gonna complain. I mean, these people would love to complain. I I'm in Smash communities on um." on social media and yeah it's like yeah I, I see it all the time with them I see it all the time with them where they're some of the most neck beardy characters out there where, as like but, but, but I'll give you a prime example like when um when one of my favorite characters got revealed to be a me costume again I saw a lot of people pissed off at Nintendo on a bunch of social media. I saw people literally, literally saying, fuck Nintendo, fuck Sakurai, fuck him, he's a horrible game developer, fuck this, fuck that. I literally, and that character was Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. I'm a big Tales of Symphonia fan, and when they revealed Lloyd to be a me costume again, literally I saw a bunch of people just saying they were going to send Sakurai death threats. I was like, you're going to send them death threats all because he made one of your characters a me costume. At least he can include them in some form of way. He could have just been like, fuck Lloyd, he's not even going to get to be a me costume. At least he got to be a me costume. But these people were honestly so butthurt that they 
sent that they were that they were really sending, were really trying to send Sakurai death threats because he didn't get included as a full character. It's like, what the fuck? What the living fuck? I don't think I I don't think any other developer would have the fortitude to deal with that stress and bull crap that would have to go on with developing the next Smash to where they don't even want to send those threats when say a character got cut that was in Ultimate, that wasn't in that wasn't in uh that won't be in the next Smash game. I don't think any developer had the fortitude unlike Sakurai to deal with that. And, and the thing about it, the thing about it is, I, I, I know, like I said, for a fact, I'm in those Smash communities on social media. I see it all the time. I see people literally, literally complaining when they're, like, uh, like even when Sora got revealed, I saw people complain that Sora was the final Smash character and it wasn't a character like Kratos or say banjo Kaz or say, or I mean not Bandicoot, or say Crash Bandicoot, or something like that. I saw people literally complaining that it was Sora. They're like, well, it's not Crash Bandicoot, so I'm fucking pissed. I, how dare, how dare Sora be in Smash? And then I saw people literally, I, I had one person in my stream, literally in my stream, and he, uh, 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 I'll shout him out, he's a good content creator, me and him joke a lot, but my dude, tie that man? Tied up man 80, tied up man 87, he complained to me that it wasn't Kratos. He said, that, well, Kratos has more sales. Kratos is a bigger video game character. But I'm like, he wasn't the most requested character in Smash. I was like, he wasn't the most requested character in Smash. Sora's been the most requested character in Smash since Brawl. So he's like, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I fucking hate Sora. I don't think Sora should have been in Smash. I think he should have been Kratos. It's like, there we go. A guy complaining, wanting a character that wasn't his and not being satisfied. That's the Smash community in a nutshell. I know, like I said, I know when people, a personal close to me, that were, they, they were not happy with the final inclusion of Sora. Instead of being like, oh, well, wow, thank God that this is a good character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just like, and I'll tell him like, maybe Smash is them for you, Ty. That man. Maybe Smash is them for you. Maybe Smash is not the game for you. Maybe it's not your video game. And he, and he just, we just kept clowning at each other. But and I don't hate Ty. That man. Don't, don't think I do that. I, I think he's a good, I think he's a good person. Me and him are cool and everything. But yeah, but, but, but yeah, there was a complaint right there, and I'm just like, you should be happy. We should just be happy that Sakurai did this, and honestly, that's where that's where it's like Sakurai is the only guy who could make a Smash game the way it is today. Like Sakurai is the only person that could make another Smash game if they were to continue Smash. He's the only one that could deal with those complaints from from angry fans that would just want to wish upon the developer horrible things or or say or say or say horrible things about the developer just because their character wasn't included or cut from the next smash game i mean i mean and and then like i said like i said you it, it who knows it will be if it will even be successful because here's the thing here's the thing following up smash ultimate is going to be a hard it's gonna be a hard act to follow. I mean, it's the one done deal. I don't believe we'll ever get another Smash game for a long time like Smash Ultimate. So, the Smash Ultimate right now is a one done deal. So, with Smash Ultimate being a one done deal, you gotta think, how could I follow this up? And it's gonna be a disappointment to fans some form of way. And no disappointed fans are going to, or consumers, are going to say things that they shouldn't say. They're gonna be, they're gonna be sorry. They're gonna be, they're gonna be, they're gonna be conniving. They're gonna, just gonna be very vindictive people uh, when the next, when that, say if, the, say when the next Smash game is released, if they make another Smash game on the next console, it's just, they're just gonna be mean spirited people. I mean, of course, the internet, that's come with the internet in a nutshell, 
I mean, people are going to be mean spirited regardless of the internet. But it's like, yeah, it's like Smash Ultimate is like one of those games where it's hard, a very hard act to follow. Like, it's a very hard act to follow. And, uh, and I just don't think we could, I just don't think we could actually see another Smash game like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in a very long time. And if we do see another Smash game, it's going to have a cut roster. It's going to have cut characters. It's, and people are going to need to get that in their mindset right now that Smash Ultimate will always have it will always have to go back to. I mean, I doubt Nintendo will ever, like, discontinue. And even if they do discontinue Smash Ultimate off, say, off, say, off, say, the eShop or whatever, I doubt they would, uh, I doubt they would, uh, make the way you can't play it physically. So we'll always have to play physically. So if you own a physical copy, you'll always be able to say, go back and play Smash Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, 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 so yeah, so, so yeah, I doubt Nintendo will want to just discontinue Ultimate anytime soon. I mean, I guarantee Nintendo's going to arrive out, that, that, if anything, with the next Nintendo console, the reason I can see the, uh, Nintendo Switch Online being extended for as long as possible, even into the life cycle of the next console, is because of Smash Ultimate. Because Nintendo won't want to cut off that online that a lot of fans are playing, and a lot of fans are enjoying, that a lot of people are just happy with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I guarantee that's going to play into the longevity of the Nintendo Switch's online is Smash Ultimate because people, yes, the netcode is trash. I will admit the netcode is trash, but people still play it because they enjoy it. They enjoy this game, and one of the things Nintendo is going to want to—they're going to want to keep the keep. they probably that probably be another reason they keep the eShop open as long as possible with the Nintendo Switch is because of Super Smash Ultimate because they don't want people to enjoy that game as long as possible. I mean, if the only I can see them doing is porting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to the next Nintendo console. I can see them porting it. Maybe not adding new characters, but porting it. I mean, Nintendo, they've done it before with Wii U games that we thought they wouldn't do. I mean, who to say they wouldn't port Ultimate? I mean, I told you I can see them doing it until, until they can develop the full next Smash game. But yeah, I mean, I doubt Nintendo would honestly just ditch Super Smash Ultimate anytime soon. I mean, this is a game that, it's a commercial success. It, this game is the most commercially successful Smash Ult, Super Smash Bros. game and the most love letter Super Smash Bros. game to the Super Smash Bros. community and the video game industry as a whole so it's like yeah i doubt they would want to discontinue this game anytime soon i mean this game is going to be up there with mario kart 8 deluxe in terms of eventually sales and eventually how many people are actually playing it on their switch i mean this is going to literally be the game that everybody has on their, the two games that everybody's going to have on their switch is one mario kart 8 deluxe Followed by Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. These are going to be the two games everybody has on the Switch by the end of the Switch's life cycle. Because it's like, yeah, it's like those are the two games that are necessity to owning a Switch. I mean, you I mean you have other games out there, say like Mark, uh, Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, that are great games. But these are the two key games that every Switch owner is going to want to own. One because Smash celebrates the whole entire video game industry as a whole the two Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is bundled with almost with almost every basic Nintendo Switch out there out, out there so whenever you buy like the basic not the OLED or the Switch Lite whenever you buy the basic standard Nintendo Switch it's bundled with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe so with that being said 
right after they get that bundle with Mario Kart Deluxe, you're gonna be like, oh, well, I wanna buy Super Champions Ultimate because I hear that's the next best game on the Switch. I mean, yes, they hear Breath of the Wild is good, yes, they hear Mario Odyssey is good, but they hear Smash Ultimate is a game that's a love letter to the video game industry and video game fans. So, it's just like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't think Nintendo could follow up Smash Ultimate with a nearly as big roster or as big things for it as possible. I mean, the only thing I see them doing is porting Ultimate, and even with porting it, Sakurai doesn't like the Mega Port game, he doesn't like the port to Smash Bros. game. We've never seen one Smash Bros. game besides ported to another console. We, I mean, we've never seen it actually another, um, one Sniper game ported to another console because, yeah, it's like, right, just, even with the virtual console, I believe the only Smasher game we saw on a virtual console thus far is the, uh, is the original Super Smash Brothers. It's the original Super Smash Brothers, and, um, and yet, and yet, and yeah, that's the only game we saw on a virtual. The only sexual game we've seen on, of course, of course, we really haven't had Wii virtual console games, but, but E or GameCube virtual console games, so those, those could come with the Nintendo Switch online, and eventually we get, say, a, get, get say, a, uh, let's say, on the Nintendo Switch online, we get Melee in there, but it's like even Steel Soccer, I just didn't like the port his Smash Bros. games is like them to be unique to that console so people can go back and play it on that said dedicated hardware but it's unique play style on that said hardware so it's like yeah I doubt we'll ever I doubt we'll see Smash Ultimate ported but it could it could because Nintendo could come in and say oh well we want to we want to get this ported because it, it's the most successful Smash Bros. game out there to extend the life of it, but I, I just don't, I just don't see it ever happening the way it is. And as much as you, much as you like my brother Daardy Mari hate to hear that, I just don't see Smash making, be, being as big as it is right now with Ultimate. I mean, I don't see us having another Smash game like Ultimate ever again, or at least for a long, long time. So this has been me, Uncle Shao, just giving you guys my thoughts on the whole current state of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This has been a video I wanted to make for a while, so, because I am a big Smash fan. I have reactions, I reacted when Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was first revealed at E3, and I have reacted to almost every character out there, yes, I don't have good reactions on my YouTube channel. Because I did them live on my Twitch, but um, but yes. But by the way, link in the description box below, or on, on, on my channel, you should go follow me on Twitch. That's where I do stream a lot. I will be doing my reaction videos for the. I will be doing my reaction stream for the Game Awards here on my YouTube channel, but uh, or on my secondary YouTube channel. I will be doing it on there. So the link in the description box. You can check out my secondary YouTube channel, Uncle Shell VOD. I haven't uploaded any of my VODs yet. I'm getting ready to upload a few VODs in the next couple of days to that channel. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna check out me re re reacting to the game awards, just check out my secondary channel. But yes, yeah, but yes, Super Smash Ultimate. I don't think we'll see it ever, ever again. I don't think we'll ever see it ever again the way it is today so this has been me uncle Shao saying god bless take care and i hope to catch you guys in the next year whatever i make peace out